Hi everyone, I'm Helen and today I'd love to use this opportunity to learn a little bit about art, history and geography in order to broaden our cultural mindscapes from home. So I'm from Belgium but I'm actually also Spanish and Greek and I am 23 and I just love the artistic and cultural fields because I find them so intriguing and interesting and I just love to transmit that interest. So through this exercise today we're going to try to learn and identify some cultural key facts and features like the European countries, the nationalities and some kind of artistic forms. Okay, let's go get it then! So in order to participate you'll need to print a white map of the European countries, just like this one. Throughout the video, I am going to ask you, because I'll show you some art pieces, to color their country of origin in a particular color. Therefore, you're going to need a green pencil, just like this one, a yellow pencil, just like this one, an orange pencil, like this one, a black pencil, a blue pencil, and a brown pencil. So, for example, this painting is named The Kiss. It showcases a couple hugging each other in some kind of love embrace. It was painted in the beginning of the 20th century by Gustav Klimt an Austrian painter. Beautiful, isn't it? So take a yellow pencil, locate Austria on your map and color it in yellow. Are you having some troubles finding Austria? This is Austria right here in yellow on the map. Good job! Okay, so let's move on to another art piece. This is a painting, and more precisely, a self-portrait by Vincent van Gogh. A self-portrait means that this painter painted himself. Self-portrait because it depicts yourself. So this painting was created at the end of the 19th century in Holland. Vincent van Gogh was a Dutch artist born and raised in Holland. So now let's take our orange pencil, locate Holland on the map and color it. Are you finding it hard to look at Holland? This is Holland, right here in orange on the map. Now great, let's move on. This time the art form is different. Can't you tell? Of course, I'm sure you've realized that this is not a painting, but a sculpture. This blue sculpture is named Blue Sponge because of its form. It does look like a sponge or some kind of coral, don't you think? Anyhow, it was created by a French artist, Yves Klein, in the middle of the 20th century in France. Can you locate France on the map and paint it in blue? Amazing! Are you experiencing some issues finding friends? Here it is, in blue. Okay, now this one I'm sure you'll know about. This is the Mona Lisa, also called the Gioconda. Sounds familiar? It is one of the most famous and intriguing paintings in the world. Just look at her eyes they seem to follow you around. 
So it was made by Leonardo da Vinci, an Italian artist. Heard about him? He was an artist from the Renaissance, and this painting was created at the beginning of the 6th century. And it is now part, 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 part of the, the collection, collection of the Louvre. Of the Louvre. So, so, let's take the brown pencil, find Italy in our map, and color it. Can't you find Italy on the map? Here it is, in brown. Now, let's try to find a funnier painting. This is Son of a Man, an intriguing painting by the Belgian artist Magritte. It was painted in the second part of the 20th century and it features this huge green apple as a symbol of the myth of Adam and Eve. So let's get a green pencil and try to find Belgium on the map. You did so! Great! Now color it! Is it too complicated to find Belgium? I get it. It is a very small country. Now here it is in green on the map. Now let's move on to a very famous and historic painting you might just recognize. This is Guernica, a painting depicting the horror of the Spanish Civil War. It was painted by Pablo Picasso in the first half of the 20th century. This anti-war painting is nowadays part of the permanent collection of the Reina Sofia Museum in Spain. So let's get a black pencil and color Spain on the map. Are you finding it hard to find Spain on the map? Here it is in black. This is what your map should look like at the end of the exercise. Colorful, right? Now it's your turn to become an artist. So let's turn the page and write our artistic names. I'll start and you can just like follow my lead. So my name is Helen and I live in Belgium. But my artistic name is Lee and I am a Belgian artist. Here's one of my favorite art pieces. And of course, don't forget your artist's signature. I'll leave you to it. Bye and hope to see you soon, art lovers.